and saturation. <laughs> It's actually um, um, the question. The Kimberley Museum is closed for five years, for sadly for people visiting. Um, but it was um, in well, it was on display there and has been for many years. I remember it was in the, yeah. um, the, just these windows and views, and this is very much very reminiscent of these. this one because I, I think this is quite fun. It's Edith um, Tornuri and she, this is the end of her driveway and I think it's in Auckland, but she parked up with her camera and as students were going to school she could photograph them. So she's got this collection but, but, and these are two of them. So you've got the nonchalant boys are sort of looking to say yeah. what's she doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got the three <laughs> girls. Um, slightly <laughs> sassy, you know, slightly yes. the front, slightly sassy look and the one at the back. Yeah. 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 So she's just caught them as they are heading off to school. This is Bridget Riley and it's called Cosmos and this is the fifth of the works that were bought when the gallery was closed. And it's um, obviously painted on the It's a work by Louise Henderson and um, in her Cubist time in the 50s. And, um, she spent some time um, in Auckland working with John Weeks, who was quite a well-known Cubist at that stage, but she's actually French. She was born in Paris, and she um, she did a degree in embroidery and design in Paris, because her parents were adamant that being an artist was not a good thing to need to be. It's something a bit more useful behind you. But she met, um, she met a New Zealand in Paris, a fellow by the name of Hubert Henderson, who, um, came back to New Zealand, had a position teaching in Christchurch, proposed by mail. Available except for one, and I think it's August. So uh, there was an exhibition here, and it was also in Auckland. I don't know if you saw it in Auckland. And um, one of them might have been... So you here? Right. Mm. Start of the year, it's still the holidays, and so that's the one that's doing that. Right, I'm just packing the gear. This area is called Fedwa, which is the Māori word for land, so it's essentially the landscapes um, or products of the land. I've written it with this in. It's mold, I think it's red ochre, coal and flax. These these two works are including the dogs and us as well. But um, we've got these animals and this is yeah. a gas which is probably New Zealanders, probably the most yeah. one of the most well known New Zealand works. Yeah. 
um, if people have you know, had a little interest in art, they would have heard of the painting of Cass. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Louise Henderson, who we've just seen up here, and Rita Angus were um, contemporaries here in Christchurch, and they used to travel, used to go out into the, into the countryside mm -hmm. and sketch, paint, whatever. So they went um, for a trip up to Cass, and Cass is on the way um, to the west coast and just yeah. short of Arthur's Pass. So if you're going over Arthur's Lounder shape in, in the work, so um, and very very often it's collaborative. People work together, um, a bit like the weavers, so they they'll work together. And that's green stone in there as well, is it? Yes. Oh, yeah. spot it. Can't spot that. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, punamu. Yeah. So you've got some punamu in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then also, if you can get a good news of the journey to Arrow, just looking back, and it's going to be a story about the reading. Yes. Sort of the yeah. hills in the background, but you know, all dressed up in their Sunday best or funereal yeah. best. Good movie to watch with you, Lenny. Good movie. And then sort of moving and here a couple and <laughs> read into it, watch your world. The work at the end is um, relates to the death of the Thank you. 